Awesome. Uh, so, hey everyone, my name is Artyom Vertnikov, and I will be talking about the Open Ethereum project, uh, how it started, and what's going on here. Like, a bit about me. Uh, like I said, my name is Artyom, and I am lead Open Ethereum developer at Gnosis. Uh, I'm network backend engineer by trade. I have five years of experience. Out of them, I've been writing Rust networking code for a full four years. And uh, those who are versed in Rust, I'm part of the Tokyo project. Uh, this is the primary asynchronous runtime for um, doing network applications in Rust. So um, I'm going to give you a quick recap. So I think many of you know that we have parity Ethereum, or we used to have parity Ethereum. Uh, this is basically one of the major uh, Ethereum clients out there. Uh, it is a very advanced uh, multi-network Ethereum client uh, written in Rust. So uh, it not only supports Ethereum, but also Ethereum spin-offs like uh, Ethereum Classic, for example, and also other minor networks uh, that have some relation to Ethereum, but uh, not Ethereum. Um, and all of them are supported in Parity Ethereum. So this client was developed by Parity Technologies, and it consists of about 200,000 lines of code, of Rust code, of from 2016-2017. So it's uh, like, it's a bit old, a bit trusty, because Rust is a very young language and it's, it's developing very rapidly. So uh, three or four years of Rust code is like 20 years in C++ world, for example. But uh, that's uh, the situation that we had uh, before December 2019, when this tweet happened. So. Um, Basically, what Parity Technologies said was, we are planning to move Parity Ethereum to a DAO ownership and maintainer model. Open Ethereum will provide the basis for cross org collaboration to ensure the code base gets the attention it needs to realize its full potential. So basically, uh, the translation of this is that uh, Parity Technologies announced basically leaving Ethereum to focus on Substrate and Polkadot. Uh, and at the same time, they gave away the their Ethereum client that they of what they have been the sole developer for so many time to the community at large, to the Ethereum community, and thus the Open Ethereum project was born. So um, basically, the starting the main starting point of this was the workshop in. January in Parity Community Space in Berlin that attracted so many participants like Gnosis, Ethereum Foundation, Lab10, DepNode, Brave, uh, Ethereum, uh, ETC Labs, uh, and ETC Cooperative, and many other stakeholders that, that are interested in the open Ethereum going forward. So this is basically how it happened. So like, you can see this uh, architecture diagram in the background. This is basically what Open Ethereum is made of. You can find it on GitHub, but we'll talk about that later on. Uh, and that was us there. So basically this was the time when we met Parity uh, team in person, when we discussed the questions of license and governance. And this was our first dive into the code and the development process. Um, basically, we um, this, this was our first um, dive into Open Ethereum, into Parity Ethereum, uh, as it was called at that time. And many questions were decided and we were given like, uh, a rundown of what Open Ethereum was is made of, and yeah, so basically, um, uh, we have started diving into this, and 
diving into this successfully. So Open Ethereum is now an independent project. Like, for example, Gnosis, where I work, employs three full-time devs uh, working on this. And we're slowly getting knowledgeable in Open Ethereum and uh, getting onboarded still, but we're making steady progress. We have already successfully migrated off Parity's exclusive architecture to uh, CI to GitHub Actions. And um, this is now a full independent project with independent infrastructure. And we have started already implementing uh, EIPs, already did integration of Ethereum protocol version 64 and Ethereum node records. So uh, Open Ethereum is may, way more robo robust than it was before. And well, it's, uh, it's all going great. And Berlin network upgrade is in progress. So we expect uh, it to be ready together with Gap and all is going to be well. Um, and I wanted to yeah, to, to use this opportunity to, uh, to say thank you to Parity Technologies because uh, not only did they create this very robust client, but also they are like very helpful for everyone participating in this, uh, giving us onboarding and helping us with, with everything to make sure that open Ethereum succeeds, even though the, they have left this project. So, and you can help us too, because um, as you know, Open Ethereum is a very, very advanced uh, multi-network client that has multiple unique features, and you could champion those features and also propose any additional components to it that will be relevant to you to your use case so uh we do not have cla anymore i know that this was a barrier to contributing that parity ethereum had contributed to a licensing agreement uh that would uh, give uh the license to the copyright of your code to uh parity technologies it, it's not there anymore so you don't have to sign anything and we have decentralized governance Parity is part of it, uh, but uh, it is. Uh, it also consists of independent players like Gnosis, like Depnote, uh, POA Network also participates there, and uh, and other players. And most of all, client diversity does secure the network. So it's all in the Ethereum project interest that uh, Open Ethereum succeeds because. If any bug happens to be in Gap or any other client, Open Ethereum could check that bug and like, be a counter uh, to any implementation problems and vice versa, of course. So join us um, on GitHub at Open Ethereum and thank you. <laughs>